Hello everyone, this is Ramos and welcome back to my network. Today I'm going to talk about my 3DS collection. I noticed other YouTubers are making videos of their 3DS collections and I wanted some of those views too. So, in total I have 5 3DSs. Why? Because I'm an adult with no self-control. That's the only excuse I got. So. The 5 3DS we're going to talk about is the Nintendo 3DS XL Pikachu Edition, the new Nintendo 3DS Pikachu Edition, which is a terrible name by the way, new, yeah. Next is going to be the 3DS Pokemon 20th Anniversary Edition, this is a flex, I bought it when it first came out, and, and actually the Pikachu 2DS, and one more TD uh, 2DS is we're going to talk about after this. So, let's first start off with the Nintendo 3DS XL. This is the first one that I got. I got it when it first came out back in 2013. I ordered it from uh, Amazon. So, with this 3DS, here's what you're going to get. I'm trying to get the right angle for this. See the box? It's a, I like the box. It's a pretty box. Even though it's, it's seen better days. But I bought it brand new. And... It is, even though you can see that it's sealed, it's not sealed because I opened it from here. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me questions. That'll make you, that'll make me just lie to you, okay? So here's what we're going to get. I, there's not a single 3DS here that I don't use. Each, every single one of these I use at one point or another. So you're gonna get your manual. Why is it dirty? Ew. I don't know why. But there it is, so you get your manual. You do get a charger for this, if I remember correctly. So here is my Pikachu edition, or what the community like to call it, the uh, Pikachu with nipples. I did put a plastic case, a uh, plastic hard shell over it to keep it protected. If you open it fully, here's what it looks like. This little sticker here is in better days. This is my most used 3ds before i got oh there goes the camera before i got the new 3ds so this one as you can see i put protective um screen on both ends that i really should have cleaned before starting this video but i didn't has a little bit of wear i'm trying to get the camera to focus it's not going to cooperate with me but just like a tiny little crack here and it's like, ah, oh, great. But I do use this one a lot. And this one is not modded at all. This is as is. I think this the little mark is the only thing that I has. So the 3DS, I never wanted the original 3DS. I wanted the XL version for simple reasons. I like to have special editions preferably pokemon editions and if i don't see any pokemon editions then i'm probably not going to get it so in this one i have the virtual consoles of red and blue and yellow gold silver and crystal and just other uh, like spin-off games like pokemon dream radar uh, pokemon 3d pro pokedex 3d pro and some of the demos. I don't really have too much of the spin-offs here because I have all the Pokemon games physical version. So it wasn't really a point of trying to get the digital versions as well. But look at that. Ah, it's been a while since I charged it and it still has a full battery. Nintendo really knows how to make batteries. But yeah, that's where we're at. I love this one. But it is a bit retired at the moment. It has served me well. I don't really use the 3D function that much because on the 3DS and 3DS XL, you have to hold it at a perfect angle in order to take advantage of the 3D effect. And I really, I, I can't do it because it's, it's, it gives you a cramp trying to stay in one place for too long. And so I don't really use it. And besides, Pokemon's not really known for the 3D effects. But that is 
the Nintendo 3DS XL Picture Edition. So we can go ahead and move on to the next one. Next one up, my pride and joy, the new Nintendo 3DS, the 20th Anniversary Edition. This one I bought when it was announced during Pokemon Day, when they had their stream, that this was coming out. And I immediately bolted to all the online retail stores so I can go and place an order. And I was only able to get one. If I could have get more than one, I would have because the price for this one, specifically for this one, is skyrocketing. But just having one, I'm happy enough. Okay, so for this one, uh, the box, I mean, that's the thing about cardboard box. It's hard to keep them mint them fresh. I'm gonna have to order the hard plastic cases for all of these to keep the boxes uh, mint condition, but then it's no, it's already damaged to this one. Look, look at that right there, right in the corner, right here, son of a bitch. So this one, here's what you're going to get when you get it brand new. I will never sell this one, and this one is not modded, by the way. So you get your manual. This is for distance ethnic because this is, this would have had the red one. Here's the Blastoise one. Huh. I don't know what that download, oh, the download code is for the digital versions, but that's too late for that now. Since it's already closed and here it is I also put a, a hard plastic case on it to keep it safe but this one's great I started my Pokemon journey with Pokemon red and blue back in 1998 so I am a gen 1 this one is I do like it because uh, if I get tired of seeing Charizard, I can always put Blastoise on it. And for this one, like I mentioned before, uh, does, does it turn on? Or am I not pressing it hard enough? There we go. It's just, I don't have any nails, so it's kind of hard to push it through the uh, plastic cover. So with this one, most of the three ESs, you'll just get like a black, uh, a black uh, faceplate here. However, for the new Nintendo 3DS Pokemon Edition, you have the color buttons. And if you don't want the big screen, this is perfect for you. Now, for this one, the 3D effect is much better because it does follow your eye movements. So that way you don't have to keep staring at it at a perfect angle in order to enjoy the 3D. So for this one, just like the ones before, I have the digital versions of Gen 1 and Gen 2. Uh, the other ones, I don't need it because I have the digital, I'm sorry, I have the physical versions. Uh, going to explain why I just messed up earlier or later. I'll, I'll explain the reason why for that. But we have this, it's beautiful, I love it. I will never mod it. Here's what you put in your game. And in order to get access to the SD card, you gotta take out the play, but it's not that difficult at all. Stylus, nothing special about it. And neither is for the Pikachu one. So there's not much to it other than it's a flex to have one. One of these. I love it. And look at that, look at that battery. I haven't charged that in months. Maybe a year and look at that battery. I'm telling you, it is nice. So let me go and turn this off because not much to it after that. Hold on, can I even turn this off? Can I? It, whose faces are those? I don't even recognize them. Come on, work for dad. Sometimes if I can't do it, I'm just like, ah, uh, screw it. There we go. I just don't have long nails. What do you want me to do? So that's the Pokemon edition. 20th anniversary. I love it. It's my pride and joy. This time I'll actually will put it in this little sleeve over here. Next one up is now the 3DS that I use the most, which is the new Nintendo 3DS XL. 
This one I did buy second hand. It is not the US version. This is really, it didn't really matter for me on this one where the, this one came from because this one's a little special. And I'll show you the reason why for this one because I use this one the most now. So let's unbox it. Uh, okay. This one likes to be stubborn. I don't know why. And I want to be careful with even though the box is even though the box is not main condition anymore, I still try to do my best to protect it. That's why I'm still going to buy the uh, hard case for those. So you get your manual, get your AR cards. And here is the new 3DS XL Pikachu edition. So if this one is too small for you, then I recommend getting the 3DS XL. You don't have to get a special edition, but I prefer special editions, preferably the Pikachu ones. And it's cause, what can I say, I'm a gen one. Favorite Pokemon is Pikachu and Charizard because that's where I started my journey and doesn't matter if Like it's the most beloved Pokemon in Game Freak. They're my beloved Pokemon as well So what do we get if you buy the new Nintendo 3DS XL Pikachu edition? So for one thing you no longer get the black nipples like that one there instead you get a nice Little drawing of Pikachu here. You can see his tail right here. The sticker's coming off a little, just like the other ones. This one's in. This one has the plate that matches the outer plate. Most of them don't. They're just plain. We do have the color buttons that matches the Super Nintendo. And for this one, this one is modded. It's homebrew. You see this little crack here? That's actually the uh, protective glass that I have over. I haven't replaced it yet, but it's not the screen that's cracked. It's the protective um, hard uh, plastic that's around the screen. So this one is modded. Took me about 30 minutes. And if you're competent with uh, computers, you could probably do it less. But I follow a very simple guide to modded and I'll have the link to the website. It's better to read the instructions instead of following a YouTube video because it's always constantly updating. So you're better off reading it. So for this one, I have modded in Gen 1 to Gen 7, every single one of these. So I have every single Pokemon game, uh, including the spinoffs, all here ready for me to play. And I have the Poké Transfer, Pokemon Bang, and the, um, this system here, the PKSM, is a godsend uh, for, oh, this one does have low battery. Oh, that's right, I forgot to charge it. I was playing this last night. So I'll try to make this quick. So this little software here is a must if you're going to mod your 3DS because when you're playing Gen 1 and Gen 2, they don't make it easy when it comes to moving around your Pokemon and, and your items. If you go here and use this one, it will save your life trust me and then you can add custom wallpaper so i have my little pikachu here can you hear this okay that's enough so i love this one this is now my most used console i absolutely love it worth every penny and this is the one that i use now the new Nintendo 3DS XL Pikachu edition. I just love Pikachu. Sue me. Oh, the stylist matches it. I love it. That's why this one's my favorite. It's my favorite console. I like to take care of my things. For me, it's not about collecting them to resell them. I actually use these, so they will never be resold. If I die, I told my wife to bury me with them. Stupid box. Because of this modded one, not only do I have Pokemon games, I have Mario, um, Zelda, Metroid, 
and Monster Hunter games all installed in this one. So it's, it's just great. Even Contra Con Chronicles, I forgot the name of it. But I have so many good games here that would have cost me a fortune to try to buy physical and I can just download it. The Pokemon games, I will always, I will always buy physical and digital because I'm a Pokemon fan. Part of my childhood, I grew up with Pokemon. If you ever want to see my Pokemon collection, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll share them with you. Next one up. I think I hit my mic. Next one up is the new Nintendo 2DS XL. I don't have Nintendo 2DS, the brick one. I, I don't like it. I know there's a Pikachu edition one, but I don't like it. So I'm always going to buy what I like. And that's the new Nintendo 3DS XL. This one I did purchase second hand. It is not a complete box. If I can open the box. Performing under pressure. Now this one would have a charger in here, but I took it out. You do get a charger with this one. Oh, speaking of the charger, here it is. I'll be down. So that's the charger. Now, I love the 2DS. I think these are my favorite consoles when it comes to the 2DS. Well, the, D, the 3DS family in general, because even though they're named 2DS, they're still part of the 3DS family. So with this one, you do get your AR cards and you get your manual. What I love about this one is that Nintendo did put a lot of love when it comes to the 2DS design, especially the special editions. So not only that, there's the Pokemon one and then there's the Zelda one. I'm sure there's other ones, but I haven't really noticed. But they always have such nice designs 3d effects you see the little snout it is it, it's big it's, it pokes out a little and the cheeks too i love why did i do that so sensual but yeah this is the to the s with the brown buttons and it and it's so nice so if you don't like the 3ds um not the 3ds well yeah the 3ds but the 3d function the 2ds is what you want to buy this one is not modded. I will mod it later on. Oh, there's my face. Look at that. I'm a handsome devil. But yeah, this one's not modded at all. And I will. Why? Because why not? So far, my wife, she loves this one because she loves Pikachu as well. So this one's amazing if you don't want the hassle of the 3D effects of these three. This one's perfect. Big screen, simple. Easy to play with, fits in your hands just fine. It's great, I love it. I don't wanna activate the camera. Go away, oh God. Uh, let's see, there we go, oh. I love this one, it's so clean. I'm gonna have to buy a, a hard case for this. And I, I just order the, uh, the screens to protect these just in case something happens. But I absolutely love this, love it. Now it's time to show you my last console in my collection. And this one's a little bit special, but also a bit of a Frankenstein. It's a special child, but I love it. It's my newest edition. This one doesn't even have a box. I bought it secondhand. It does not have a box. Doesn't have manuals. And well, you'll understand why I call it a Frankenstein. So my last 2DS is the new Nintendo 2DS XL Pokeball Edition. I love this one. The only thing I don't like is this because it makes it feel like I'm going to break it every time I open And Here's the SD card right there, but that's where your gate goes. I feel like if I try to pull it any further, it's gonna break, so it just freaks me out. This one is modded. Just like the 2DS XL, this one has all the games, including everything that I need. But here's what's something special about this one. And if you're gonna buy a 2DS and you're a bit of a collector, don't don't buy this one. You'll see the reason why. Get ready to get ready to be shocked. Now, for those who know, it's not supposed to have a white face with orange buttons. It's supposed to be red with black D-pads and buttons. This one's 
what I told you is a bit of a Frankenstein because it has the the face plate of the original standard 2DS XL. It was a black one with like a neon blue outlines to it, like a blue neon around it. And then there's a white one with orange outlines. That's where these ones are coming from. But not only that, there's something a little bit more special about this. That's the fact. If you know, this is where the normal charging port is. This one here is a USB-C insert. So this one's been highly modified. This one has a capture card uh, installed inside. And I purchased this from eBay. I'll give you the link to the seller's uh, eBay um, website. Because he did such a phenomenal, can I, can I make this focus a little bit more? Let's see. Uh, there's the ticket. So here it is. Look how professionally you cut it. It's, it doesn't, it's not loose. So when I connect into it, it's not moving around. It's secured worth every single penny because this one will allow me to document my Pokemon uh, national. There's a bit of a crack there, but a uh, bit of a scratch, but actually, no, that's actually dirt. I can clean that off. Yeah, it's dirt. I can clean that off. I didn't wipe the screens. This one uh, will allow me to record my adventures of a national Dex. So this one's modded as well as all the Pokemon games that I need and all everything that I need to capture. Now, people say like, look, you wasted so much money. You could have just emulated and then just save the, the save file and then put it into your game. I don't want to do that. No, I want to use, I want to play here, connect it and put it into my PC so I can record on my monitor. I'm blessed to have the disposable income for my hobbies. So I always wanted a 3DS with a capture card in it. There was a seller in Europe that was doing it. And I figured, ah, they're always going to be in business so I can take my time. And then they went out of business. So I regretted it. So when another one popped up in Australia, I said, I cannot pass this up. He had great reviews. So I took the plunge. It did cost a bit of a penny, but I took the plunge on it and I do not regret it. I highly recommend this seller. If you want a 3DS or 2DS with the capture card installed, it's worth every penny if you want to document your, your uh, journey through a national Pokedex. So that's what I have here. I absolutely love it, but I haven't told you about the best thing about this uh, Nintendo 2DS Pokeball Edition. Oh, it's so satisfying. You can... Oh, I love it. Every time I see it, every time I pass by. Every time I put it in my hands. Every time I'm playing with it. Okay, wait, well, that sounds bad. But look, the point is, I, this button does nothing other than dopamine release into my mind but yeah that is my entire 3ds collection i recommend that if you're going to be buying a 3ds the market right now is hot the prices are going up all because the uh eShop has closed down it's done it's over it's dead but we have if you do happen to mod it you have an A shop now, which is way better than the A shop in my opinion. But if you're in the market, if you're in the budget, buy the 3DS, not the XL, just the 3DS. They're cheaper and you have the option to mod it. That's if you're in the market for it. If you want a bigger screen, then just get a normal 3DS XL. And if you don't want to use the 3D effect, then the Nintendo 3DS XL is right for you. If you want to get a special edition, then go for it if you got the money. If you want the best of the best, then get a new Nintendo 3DS or a new Nintendo 3DS XL because they have a better pro uh, 
better processor, so they load quicker and they perform better and better battery life. And the, if you want to use the 3D effect, they're better because they have a little pump uh, facing camera that tracks your eyes. That way you don't have to sit perfectly and still like a statue in order to enjoy the 3D. If you don't want uh, the 3D at all, then get yourself the 2DS because these are perfect, they're compact. They put more into more love into the special editions, but you don't have to get a special edition one. But those are my suggestions. Finally, for me, I, I prefer the new 3DS XL because I like the bigger screen. I love it. But that is my collection. Let me know if you would actually like to see my entire uh, Pokemon collection because I don't have an impressive 3D game collection. I have an impressive Pokemon game collection. So my 2DS, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, the DS, 3DS, and even up to the Switch. I'll show you my entire Pokemon collection if that's what you want to see next time. But if you enjoy this, let me know. And that way I'll know I'll make a follow-up video. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, viewers, behave yourself. And if you don't, invite me. Okay, bye.